Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, man, Mike Wang has finally returned in an interview. We are going to actually break this down in a way you're not gonna hear other YouTubers break it down because they are double twisters and gawkers. Okay. Also, we got some screenshots of the wreck and park. we got um our first NBA 2K24 fake leaker. Young Duke talking about the game, etc. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 275k.5. We are like 30 subscribers away. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps Young Swan grow. Hey, is this is this 2K24? Is this 2K24? Oh no, this could be 2K24, man. <laughs> hey man, pay attention. Here we go. All right, we're here at the 2K headquarters. 2K24? And wait, wait. 2K24? Hold on. All right, we're here at the 2K headquarters. Leak, 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 leak. Hey, is this 2K24? These gotta be some league players or something, man. Can we see anything? I can't tell. There's no way they're playing 2K23. Right? There's no way. They gotta be testing the game. And the devs. Damn, this whole blurry in the hole. So this is looking like the wreck looks the same. Big L 2K. We want the wreck to be switched up, man. At least give us our clothes. Like back in 2K15, man, nobody cares about the jerseys. You feel me? A lot of people think because they never played 15, that having clothes as close to someone else could be, you know, confusing. But if you go look at old 2K15 wreck stuff, you could clearly see everyone's name on your team all the time throughout the whole game. And then it had like a little indicator so they could just make that indicator greater and make the name pop more maybe give it a little outline you know it ain't hard bro it's way better than uh going in with these damn jerseys to be honest but yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about the wreck possibly being the same you know because this, this could be an alpha anything man just a testing ground anything you you never know bro team is working feverishly Damn, you can't. It's like, how do they like do this blurry hoe? Like you can't tell anything. So it's looking like the scoreboard is definitely like right here, maybe? <laughs> you can't see nothing, bro. It's looking like the top right look a little different. Maybe some takeovers, because look, this is more green. This is more green right here, right? And this is lower green, and then this is a different green. So it's like the takeover meter probably different. It looking like the scoreboards up here or something up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I think we just found the takeover, to be honest. What y'all think, man? Leak, 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 leak. To get 2K24 out the how do they have this blurry and these ain't blurry how is this possible i can't tell if there's adrenaline door for all of you and one big Damn. step in that process is actually happening inside right now and today to talk about about that I'm mike wang you aging man nobody cares about timmy d's donut shop mike wang i'm very disappointed in you bro the game is horrible fix the gameplay dog how can you make such amazing, immaculate games and turn into this? I'm joined by gameplay director Mike Wayne. Mike, welcome back to 2K TV. Hey, nice to see you. He returns. Good right. to be here. Like the so air, baby. we have some community members in there playing the game. Leak, 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 leak. Bro, okay, so it's really looking like the scoreboards here. It's looking like the damn uh, shot feedback <laughs> and the contest system. It's looking like this is your takeover, bro. It's looking like it's a little green meter going up. They got this whole blurry as hell, man. And giving feedback to you, what's it like for the de Damn. You cannot see if adrenaline is in the game, bro. You really can't. Development side to get direct feedback on the game early before launch. 
Yeah, this, so we've been doing this for like three years now, uh, this type of event. Damn, you cannot tell. And it's been awesome. Like, it's probably one of the most helpful things we have because we, you know, we work all year and we're in our... Bro, you cannot tell. We're a little silo, we're building our game, and we think it's in a good state, but until you... It's not, it's horrible. The gameplay is horrible. Anybody that's actually played older games, the gameplay is way better, bro. Way more realistic, way more fun. Now it's just clunky and unresponsive. You get these players who play all year long, uh -huh. and they're representing the My Team community, uh -huh. the My Player community, uh -huh. you know, Rec, the pro guys. Like, basically everyone's uh -huh. kind of got little, their, little, their little representative inside. Uh -huh. And they give us a great, you know, their great two cents of like what, how the game is feeling right off the bat, what they want to see change. No, they don't. It's not that. This is not true, bro. Because if this was true, 2K23 wouldn't have been spawned. You feel me? All the good like comp people that go out there, they they don't like 23, but they're not really pushing back enough because they don't want to lose their privilege of like keep working with 2k man so they have let 2k turn to this man they they not going hard enough like yo the dribbling is horrible it's unresponsive the game is clunky you gotta fix this you know they letting it go they letting this happen man uh, what could be tweaked, um, what's terrible, what's great. And for us, it's just like, you know, it helps us to take the game from where it is now to to great, you know, the next level where it needs to be. What are some things that they give you as feedback Injutsu. that you take to the drawing board and kind of the team and say, okay, how can we tweak this? Or how, is there like a, is it basically based off community feedback directly from these sessions? Or are you looking at stuff and you're like, oh, this is good. They like this stuff. We gotta kind of improve this stuff or tweak this stuff based on some of that feedback. Yeah, it's pretty much all over the board. Like we focus on gameplay for this event and you know, they come in with very fresh perspectives on 23, right? So they've been on it all year long. So their brain, uh -huh. their brains there, they're still using like kind of exploits or things that they really like in 23 to try to be successful. So they come in trying to do those things right away and they see that a lot of things have been fixed or changed. A lot of things have been fixed or changed, exploits, right? What could these possible exploits be? Speed boosting? Maybe a way to manipulate the adrenaline? Um, they probably found a way to make the adrenaline go away. I heard that adrenaline disappears faster. If y'all didn't know, a lot of people think like people don't know how to completely manipulate the adrenaline to where they never lose it and they're actually speed boosted. Maybe they like I heard that the adrenaline was reverted to like y'all remember when you pressed R2 with the off ball. I don't know about the off ball thing, but right when you press R2 and move a little like uh, adrenaline i don't know though i don't know maybe the same side goddamn speed boost maybe they they nerfed that maybe they uh maybe they nerfed the uh moving cross dribbling through people um they didn't patch that all year i don't know why hopefully they nerfed that um maybe they did something with left riding you know maybe they slowed down some dribble animations man you know and so for us, um, it's helpful for them to, to know, to remember, because we've, we've been in the trenches for so long. Like some of the things that they're, they thought they'd be complaining about, like, oh yeah, we fixed that, you know, three months ago. Ooh, it's, they fixed it three months ago. So they, they saying there's a change, man. So it's, um, it's helpful for us to just be reassured that some of those things are gone. Um, and now they got to What's gone? See, this could be a positive or a good thing, man for new exploits to uh, right, exactly. be people with. Go break the game, that's what I tell them. Go yeah. break the game and be honest with Mike. You know, don't just come in here and tell them things you like, find things you don't like. What's it been like for you and all your gameplay team to like meet the community? Who are the, these are the people who make the gameplay? Y'all are trash and you're ruining the game, bro. Fix it. And interact with the community and then have them playing, you know, the product before launch. Is it a pretty cool feeling to, to build that relationship? You know, and you said this is the third year in a row. How's it been over the years and how's that affected the, the gameplay? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're bringing back, at least today, there's at least four or five returning people. So we've already have kind of relationship and rapport and, you know, four or five returning people. You know, the first time some of these guys came in, it wasn't like they're ready to just give us their raw feedback, you know? They're trying to be look look you hear what he's saying giving back the raw feedback this is what i'm telling you even though they are flying out comp guys comp content creators these guys are boot bootlickers bro i'm telling you bro the people that's going out there bro they never really had anything bro they never interacted with you know they don't they don't think of themselves highly enough so they're not going to really 
tell them what really, really needs to be fixed and pushed, bro. And that's a problem because the game is horrible, okay? Maybe if you're an NPC and you never got deep in in the older 2Ks, you just can't understand because you're broken in the inside, no soul, you feel me? But from someone like me that's been that guy, I've been in deep since before Park 2Ks existed, I really see the true differences, man. They really making this whole like the most casual, easiest skill gap ever with 2K, man. It's just, ugh, they, they gotta they gotta get it better, bro. Be polite. They're trying not to like, you know, yeah, get in our yeah, faces on stuff, but now they're ready. You know, they're very, very See, look, 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 babe. Look, look, look. You wanna know why maybe they're starting to change? Cause they're starting to be like, yo, if I be boot licking, Every time I come out to 2K, I'ma have to deal with a horrible game all year. And 2K23 was so miserable that now I really gotta come and talk. Like, you feel me? People don't understand. Like, you gotta play this whole all year. If you ain't gonna talk, <laughs> it's your loss, buddy. Very willing to just give us their honest opinion. And uh, there's nothing that, nothing beats the in-person dialogue. Because we can be, you know, on forum okay. posts, we can be on Reddit. Twitter and we'll get feedback but it's usually not filtered and you can't really get look filtered filtered nah look 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 guys it doesn't matter what he's about to say right now I'm telling companies only change thing when it's pure toxic you might get blocked so you so you gotta you gotta factor that into when you're speaking about something, right? But if you show true outrage, maybe just, hey, you guys should change this. They're, they're, not, they're not gonna be influenced by that. If people go hard, that's when they change, bro. You feel me? But you might get blocked. So you gotta choose or maybe get a burner. You feel me? You gotta do stuff like that to really show them it has to be changed. You feel me? They're just trying to protect themselves because they don't want to see the hate. But to really make change, you got to turn into toxic Karens. It's the only way. This has been years, okay? We've tried talking nice to these guys. It don't work. You got to go in. Get engaged for exactly what people are complaining about. So when you can just have a conversation about things and it helps them too, you know, they can, they can bring up points and things they don't like and we can just talk to them about things and how the game is built and they understand why some decisions are made and they help us guide us too. They help, us, they help guide our decisions of what, you know, what they think sh things should be like and, and we can change accordingly. So you know, the game is for the community. So we're always trying to just do our best to make the game that they want. All right, I know, okay. I know the community wants to hear the details about 24, but for both our sakes, we'll just be safe and like cut it off here. Mike Wang, thanks so much for joining Damn. us here on 2K TV. And for you out there, make sure to always send that constructive criticism in. These guys are listening and uh, I'm excited. 24 is right around the corner. Yeah, I'm excited too. Can't wait. So look, this guy's asking, where is Mike Wang? Shouldn't he drop the mic already? If y'all didn't know, Mike Wayne came back um, August 3rd last year, I think. And yeah, I guess he coming back August 4th. What is that? Is it? Yeah, it's the 4th today. And they did that 2K TV. But LD linked this. And I guess we could see more of Mike Wayne with certain of these uh, dates. Probably with the gameplay, ho. I guess he ain't gonna be tweeting, man. Duke Dennis replied to a tweet of Phantom trolling. And he said, LOL, bro. We played one quick game with the Lakers and the Suns two months before release of 2k24 basically a demos demo nobody knows it not even the ones who played it Cap. anybody say it's good or bad they are lying we all gotta wait until it dropped to see like every now look this is true and false at the same time duke is an og player man i think he's been playing since or at least been in deep since 17, maybe 16 too. He can tell when he played at home, for off the rip, like first touching it, he can he can feel, right? He been playing this hole for years, making video. He can feel if that hole is ass or if it's not. He might not be able to go really in depth and really compare it, but he can feel even with the play now, he, he can tell a little bit. You feel me? You can tell a little bit, but you can't tell to a different level even, you know? And even if it's a demo's demo, you still can get some type of idea, bro. You feel me? 
Like for instance, you might have went out there, broke someone's ankle or super quick fast faded or had super quick dunks or like crazy contact. Like, you know, like you could see dirt certain stuff that they can't really alter. We know it takes 2K forever to patch anything. So even though they're on a pre-alpha alpha version, there could still be things implemented in that that could ultimately make the game super trash or dope you know but yeah anywho y'all check out my other 2k24 videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome